Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for tuning in. So I hope everybody had a good week, and I know everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Let me just put my comments up here. So drop in, say hi, let me know where you're from, and then grab your coffee, grab your tea, come stamp with me. Okay, so hopefully everything works okay. We're having kind of a rainy day here in New York, and that always interferes with my internet. So hopefully we can get through this. Just know if it stops, I will um, jump back on. Okay, also looks like it's got a little bit of a delay. So let's get started. Okay. So again, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. If you want to order online for me, here is my host code. If it's more than $150, you don't want to use the host code because you want to get the hostess rewards points. So of course, we all know it's celebration time. Second round is here. Uh, good morning, Vicki. I know I'm on now. <coughs> So every, a lot of things are going on, um, so I'm not going to show you all that. I believe you all know that. The mini catalog still active. Celebration still active. Donna and I have our online classes, uh, Birthday Jubilee and Parisian. Let me grab those, though. Parisian Beauty. Okay, maybe I don't have those with me. So if you'd like more information on our classes... Um, just follow the link below this description. What I want to show you more of today is our new ornate garden suite. So I touched on that the other day, showed you a little bit of that. This is a suite. You can buy the whole suite. You can buy bits and pieces of it. This will be available to you as customers on April 1st. It will also be in the new catalog. So here is the whole suite. And then here are the two stamp sets with the dies, which are amazing. The designer series paper, the floral, uh, 3D embossing folder, some ribbon. And I did show you all that on the last video. So we're not going to show all that again, except for the things that I'm working with. So again, the stamp sets are ornate thanks. And I love the font on this one. Love, love, love that. And then you have all these great little dies. You'll be seeing me use these dies a lot, especially this one. I love this one because it's long enough for a lot of other sentiments that we have. And then we have these dies. Just going to show you those real quick again. And then, of course, we have this flowered set. Hello from Honolulu. Wow, it's 1 a.m. Thank you for tuning in then. Okay, I hope the weather is nice there. And then here's the other dies, which you will see me use some of those today. You know, I don't usually bring up the big shot here because it makes the table jiggle, but, you know, I will show you those different pieces. And these little flowers, just a note, these little flowers, everybody's trying to line them up in here, which they do line up a little bit, okay? They're not perfect in some of the spots, like this one lines up pretty good, but they don't have to be. You can have them off-centered, and you'll see what I mean with that. So those are the stamp sets. Here's the gilded gems. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Lisa. Here's the uh, gilded gems, which I absolutely love. Of course, you know me. I always like anything that glitters and sparkles. And then, of course, the papers. Beautiful designer series papers. Such a great suite. Okay, so let's get started, okay? So here are the three cards that I showed on my last video with my sneak peek. This was one of them, and of course here you can see the ribbon. And then this one is the large um, stamp image used with my blends. Thank you, Lisa. Definitely share my videos if you'd like to see more videos. Keep sharing them, okay? That gets me closer to retirement so I can do a lot more. <laughs> Here is a nice thank you card. Again, there's that ornate um, die. Okay. So those are the ones I did show you the last time. 
Now, one of the things I'm going to show you is, uh, this is on my scrapbook uh, group, Stamper's Delight scrapbook group. If you'd like to join, just go to Stamper's Delight scrapbook group and join me. I like simple, easy scrapbook pages. I don't get too crazy over them because it would take me too long. Although I love the real intricate ones too when I have time. So this is a scrapbook page that I did using the Ornate Garden. The reason I wanted to show you that is this is that big framelit or die. Look at how great that is for pictures. Perfect, perfect size for your pictures. And then, of course, here's the smaller ones, and you can crop your pictures to put in there. Hi, Megan. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Lane. So, again, this die right here, absolutely my favorite for scrapbooking. Okay, so some of the newer ones I worked on, and I will show you these. Um, this one, which I'm going to be stamping a similar card. See how I did that? Now, this is our, our embossing folder, and then this is the designer series paper. And, of course, you have that long die. Remember I said those flowers don't necessarily line up. I don't care if they line up or not because what I did was I layered them so that gives it a 3D effect. And you can layer as many as you want because there's three sizes. And you can also layer the colors. Okay. Oh, thank you, Vicki. And then, of course, here is a piece of cardstock with one of those edgelets. Let me see if I have that handy right here. Okay, this is an edgelet. We used to call them an edgelet. And if I do it this way, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so that goes right there, and you have a nice little edging for your sentiments. Just so I let you know, this one right here, you can cut out, um, and you'll see how I did that. Um, you can have that on the bottom of your cardstock, and then you can also cut it out, because there's one portion right here that doesn't actually cut, and then if you layer that, I might have it backwards, this way, it cuts it out as a long die. I'll be doing more of these, and I'm sure you've seen some other videos with it. Everybody's playing with it. Why wouldn't you? It's absolutely beautiful. So th this is another card that I did. I didn't put anything on the inside because I'm not sure what kind of card I'm going to use this for. My husband needs three thank you cards from his convention, so that might be one of them. <laughs> Okay, the next two I'm going to show you are similar to what I showed on one of my other videos that Sarah showed us on a thank you note, but instead I did a, something a little bit different. So this one, okay, is a half a sheet of cardstock, and I'll put all the dimensions in the description later. You're going to flip it open that way, and instead of opening it this way where it was that note card that you could write, I put some... Um, tear tape here and made it into a card this way or you can use it as a gift card holder yes it's going to be a very popular suite I think it's got a lot of pieces to it we love that so again this is a little thank you card okay I'm going to put those aside take pictures of them and then give them to my husband to use for his convention like I just said the next one same idea okay with the two different designer series papers, same as I did with this one, I used the two different designer series papers. Okay, so this one has more of the gold in it. And then when you open it up, you have that little tuck in there. Okay. The next one before we get stamping that I want to show you is one I absolutely love. Now I just need somebody to get married, hint, hint. Okay, to the new Mr. and Mrs. So there's the embossing folder, okay? And then I embossed in silver that big stamp with all the flowers, no coloring. I used our metallic ribbon from the catalog, the annual catalog, and here is that rose die. It's a little bit longer than the card, so I did have to snip it off. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is, of course, with our Dazzling Diamonds um, 
or dazzling, I think it's called dazzling diamonds, our glitter paper. And of course, to the new Mr. and Mrs., I also embossed that, and I embossed the inside. This set is from the mini catalog, and I didn't bring it back over here, so I don't have the name of it offhand. Oh, I got my catalog right here. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Let's see. If I can find it real quick or somebody can hop on and tell me real quick what it is. Let's see if anybody's faster than me. I know I'm not too fast this morning. This is an another gorgeous set. Of course, I'm not going to find it when I want it, right? Doesn't that always happen? So we'll leave that so you can look at it while I'm looking for the name of it. It's always the page that you can't find, right? And I'm not going to go crazy looking for it if we don't find it. I'll just put it in there later. Okay, not finding it. Well, while I'm stamping, maybe somebody will hop on and just tell me what it is. Uh, I'm looking real quick here. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, so inviting stamp set. And last a lifetime stamp set. Okay, that's that one. Okay, so let's get started stamping. So I was asked to do, um, I did a card like this with the uh, Peaceful Poppies or, or Poppy set. And one of my YouTube um, viewers asked me to show this, actually stamp this. So I'm going to show you a, a quick, easy way. I had to have my coffee, sorry. She wanted to see how I did these kind of cards. Now, if you remember, I did one with the poppies a while back. So I told her I would. So I thought, what better way than to do it with this great set? And this is just a quick, uh, well, quick, easy, but beautiful uh, thank you card. And there again is that gorgeous die. So let me bring this in. Now, I'm doing this in blueberry bushel. Very important message Blueberry bushel, uh, pineapple, grapefruit, granny apple green, lovely lipstick. Those are the in colors that are going out in June. I'm going to start telling you right now, you want to get those re-inkers. I mean, if you want to get more cardstock, stuff, stock up on the cardstock, absolutely. But the re-inkers are always the first thing to go. Okay, so you want to get the re-inkers. And I was just trying to do many items from the mini. Um, yes, Megan, not, I don't know how many are going to go carry over. Megan's asking if um, the things from the mini catalog carry over to the annual catalog. Yes, some of them will. We don't know yet which ones. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still having a little cough lingering on. So, again, you want to... Um, Definitely get the re-inkers. Okay, so now this layers up this way. Okay, this is a great card. I love the doing these cards because you don't really have to color them or anything like that. It layers up that way. To do the flowers and have that layer up, I should have used my paper trimmer because I didn't get that quite right. What you do is you layer these two together without that piece. Let me put this here where you can see it. Without that middle piece. Okay, now I have Hermafix left, which is a non-permanent glue type thing. I like to, to set it down with something. And I'm just going to lay that right in there. I'm going to bring in the large flower. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my blueberry bushel. I love this color. I'm going to hate to see it go. Ink it up real good. And then I'm just going to stamp. Press it down. This is a large stamp, so you want to press it down. You're welcome, Fran. Yes, definitely get... Now, you see there's a little edge there because of that. That's okay. Because remember, you got a piece of um, cardstock going behind there. And we're going to do this. Yes, definitely get the re-inkers. And again, there's a little white edge there you can see. Don't worry about it. Because now what you do is you lift up that piece, you take your next piece, and I'll put the dimensions. That's going to go right there. 
We're going to go ahead and snail that down or use your Tombow, whatever. We're going to put that down. Now, I will be on Sunday night at 7 p.m. And I actually have kind of a little special to tell you about on Sunday, as will Donna. And then I'm going to snail this down and just line that up with that little edge. Make sure I got the right way. Yep. See, if I did it this way, it doesn't line up. Actually, it does line up. That might be the right way. <laughs> Actually, it lines up either way. Isn't that cool? Okay, but it goes this way. There's the flower. There's the flower. Okay. Isn't that great? Aw, oh, yeah, sorry, Vicki. I wasn't on Sunday because I had a class. Okay, that's all there is to it. You can do as many flowers as you want. You can do anything. You can even color them in. Okay, for this card, I'm not going to. I like to do nice, simple, easy thank you cards sometimes because they do use a lot of them. And then I'm just going to layer it right onto the blueberry bushel, just like that. Now, again, here's one of those dies in gold that I already cut out. I'm going to put that right here. You see it's very similar to this one. This little piece right here is one inch by two and a quarter, I believe. Again, I'll put all the dimensions down later. So this is one inch by two and a quarter. And that fits right inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the thanks, my blueberry bushel, and let me grab my stamping mat. I need to change the paper on that, and I'm just going to stamp thanks. There we go. This is going to actually go right in here. And this I'm going to snail down. And then I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. Your pick tool is not here, so we'll just use the scissors for now. Put that right there. And then I have a piece of cardstock that goes inside, but I'm going to have to trim that down. So let me get my paper trimmer in here. I want that at five and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right inside here for my note. I'm watching the time because it seems like I get kicked off on this when it gets to a certain time. I don't, I don't know if it's Facebook or Switcher, but I'll jump back on if I do. And there you have it. I'm going to grab some of these gilded gems, which I absolutely love. Now, if you don't have your take, take your pick tool handy like I don't, you can pick these up with your scissors. Just give it a little twist. And there's three sizes. You can actually get this suite now, if you'd like, by joining my team and joining Stampin' Up! with the exclusive offer, which ends March 31st. You want to get in on it. Okay? There's the two cards. Yes, I have my mini trimmer. It's behind me, so my regular trimmer's right on the, the um, table. But let me show you the mini trimmer because you do get that with your exclusive starter kit right now. Trust me, you want to get this. Even if you don't want to make this a business, you just want the, the discount. There's many, many reasons to join now. That's one of them. The DSP is another one, You get and you get another free stamp set. Okay, so I definitely would love to have you on my team. You get an exclusive Facebook page 
with my group. Exclusive videos. We do a lot of things. Okay, so for the next card, let me show you that one. And then again, how I'm going to do it. Now, this one's a little trickier, and I've done this before, and I've made mistakes. So this one I'm going to bring in. Remember, I cut that. This one was great because it's flowered paper on either side. But when you want to use the gold paper, you have to be careful the way you, you cut this. So here's another one that I did. Again, I used the um, glimmer paper here. And then that long piece that I love, it's stitched. Okay, and this is the Mary Merlot. And then I did some flowers in the gold. I left this blank too because I don't know what I'm going to write in here. Probably a thank you card. Isn't that great? Okay, so let's get started. Let me put my pieces over here. All right. So here's my two pieces that I'm going to use. Now, this is the opposite. There's two different foil papers, and I'm using the larger one now. With this card, you have to watch the way you cut at an angle. So these are four by five and a quarter. And then you're going to cut it just like this in half. So what happens, you get two halves. Now, one thing I want to tell you, when I, when I cut my um, 3D paper or, you know, after doing an embossing paper, I start the cutting in the middle because sometimes there's a little bump there and you don't get it quite right. See, I have two halves. Okay, so going back to this, this is the way I cut this one. Now, I want this to go this way, I think. Let's see. I want it the opposite way. So let's see. This should work out where you put this piece like this. Okay, see, this one's going to go this way now. Oop, let's grab this one. It's going to go this way. It all depends on the way you cut your paper. Does that make sense? So this one's going to be a little bit different because this goes this way. I know. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but just watch me. Okay, now I want this one to be on this side, so I have to make sure that I cut it opposite of this. We'll see how it comes out. I'm not sure. It might come out where I have to use that side. So I'm going to do this one this way. It should work. I think it's got to be the other way. Hold on. I'm going to make this the small piece. Okay, it's got to be this way. Well, we'll find out. I've played around with this a lot, and I still I still get confused myself. I confuse myself. How's that? Okay. Yep, I did it right. Okay. So now that's going to go this way. Make sense? If you do it the same, if you cut it the same way, then you'd have to use this side and this side. Like that. Doesn't really matter because they're both, both sides are great. And then you have another piece here for another card. And this would be opposite. See? Or that way. I know sometimes. It's morning. What can I tell you? I'm confusing in the morning. Sorry, I had to grab some more coffee. Okay, so let's move this aside. There's my two halves. Now, here's the here's the thing. This is gonna go onto my um paper here, my cardstock, and I'm going to use, I want a good crisp edge. Definitely use your paper trimmer. Okay, this is, of course, our shimmer paper. Absolutely love the shimmer paper. And this also, I should have told you, was the shimmer paper. Now, these two pieces are going to go on here, okay? It would have been fine. I, I See, I can do it this way also. So it can be that way too. But you see, it's opposite that doesn't really matter whichever way I want to have it. I want these popped up on dimensionals here. So how do I keep these two pieces together? Well, let me show you. I'm going to take the opposite side. I'm going to take a piece of 
paper that this is part of our cardstock that I cut off when I'm when I'm trimming paper. That'll go right there. I'm just going to snail this down or use Tombow, whichever you want, just like this, to keep that together. It's going to stay there, okay? I'm not taking it off. What that does is allows me to flip it around and play with the card. Okay, so for this one, I'm doing it uh, opposite. You see this one I had the um, glitter paper. This one I have the gold. And I'm just going to lay that gold paper right over there. For this, I am going to use my Tombow and my silicone mat. This is an old silicone mat. And I'm just going to dot some of my Tombow around here so that it lays flat. Lift that up. Making sure my I'm still green on the taping side that I'm still live. Okay. Just gonna lay that down. Just like that. Now I'm gonna bring in some of the flowers that I've already done. And I didn't poke out all those little holes. You would want to do that if you were leaving it this way, but I'm not, so I'm putting something over it. So here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take a dimensional. This one is flat. I'm going to take a dimensional on the larger ones and put that right on top of this. This is what I was talking about. I'm not too concerned that they're not lining up because I want these petals to show. We're going to go ahead and do this. Yes, it would make a nice confirmation card. You're right. Okay. And then I have a couple of small ones. I think I'm missing one of the little ones, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. This one is a medium-sized one, but I'm going to put it right here anyway so that more of the gold shows through. So you don't have to get too crazy if they don't line up. And you see what I mean here. See the gold shows through. Now, this one I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, do some... Combo. They don't all have to pop up. Put that right there. And then I got another little one. This one I'm going to keep flat. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> and I'm just going to angle this one so that it looks like more petals on there. Then I'm going to bring in the gilded gems and right where those little holes are that you would normally pop out I'm gonna go ahead and put some gilded gems on there okay. looking for it. here's my one piece now this is going to be the piece that I'm going to have sitting in here okay so I don't need any gold gems there and if I use the larger ones, it covers up those three little holes. And the medium ones cover it up on the smaller flowers. He's not quite dry yet. We'll go ahead and put a little gem on there anyway. Okay. Out of glue? Oh, Megan, how can you be out of glue? Okay, I'm going to bring in the saying from all of us and of course that's from this suite they're all from the suite with the mary merlot i love the mary merlot and the shimmer paper the white shimmer paper it just looks so rich my uh, let me bring in my mat nothing worse than doing this and then getting to the stamping and doing it wrong now also you just let it set for a second let that ink soak in there we go i'm going to take some dimensionals here this is kind of long a long piece so i'm going to go ahead and put three on there so don't forget i'll be back on sunday night 7 7 p.m eastern standard time and i think you'll like what i have to show you 
can slide that under here. Put that little guy right there. And then I'm going to bring in my card base. I'm going to flip this over. Now remember, I left those there. I want, I want that there because that's what's holding my card together, those pieces, so that I could was allowed to work on it. I'm going to put four dimensions on here. Really need to get my take your pick tool back from my other table. Problem is I have three tables here, four tables actually. I start working on one, I bring my stuff over there and then I forget to bring it back. <laughs> Happen to anybody else? Okay, and we're gonna just layer that right on here. And then I'm just gonna add a couple more of the small ones, I think. Right here. There we go. And there you have it. Beautiful card. Here it is the opposite direction, depending on the way you make that angle cut. And remember, when you slice it, you have enough for another card. So it can go that way, or it can go this way. Of course, you can flip it around and do it this way, but because I embossed it, you don't want to use that, but you can do it this way. Well, you can't do it that way because it doesn't line up. <laughs> okay. You got what I mean, right? Good morning, Lori. So that's my second card. I hope you enjoyed that one. Again, all the cards will be online later. <coughs> now, something quick and easy I want to show you. I'm going to bring that in. Bring these pieces in. Haven't done this one yet. Just grabbed it this morning. I said, let me show them this. Okay. So... Let me just grab the card. These cards right here. Okay, I was showing you how to do that. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do that before my time is up. Okay, so you use a, a card base, your regular card base. And we are going to score that. Make sure you have your scoring blade. This one is backwards. I don't know why. I always have my scoring blade at the top. You're going to score this at two inches and either slide it all the way through at six and a half or just flip it and do two and a half whichever is easier for you I'll put both measurements down okay and we're gonna score that we're gonna flip that up get burnish it real good flip this down and burnish that real good then I'm going to take my tear tape and I'm going to, let me just make, grab something here. The smaller part, okay, this is a smaller part. Again, you can use this as a card or a gift card holder or both. I like these for gift card holders. Thank you. Oh yeah, Lisa, I'm loving that embossing folder too. It's going to be a hit. Thank you, Linda. Just going to tear this off. Don't forget, if you uh, didn't catch the beginning of this, just watch the replay or go to YouTube, Stamper's Delight, and it'll be on YouTube later today. Just going to flip that up. Now, I've already cut two pieces of the foil paper, and this one is one and a half inches wide. This one, I believe, is two. Let's just tell you. Yeah. So this one, I'm going to lay right inside here. I'm going to put this one towards the bottom so that it shows. This would be a nice anniversary gift card, I think. Maybe for a 50th. Just going to go ahead and lay that down. And then, of course, this is the fold up here. You can also color this. But, again, I, was just, I just decided to show you this one real quick. Because it really is the same as that note card that I showed on my last video. The only difference is that I glued the edges down. And I'm just going to layer that right there. Okay. That's really all I did. I didn't cut any other pieces to, you know, make a saying or anything like that. And then I have my card piece here, which was really not cut for that. but And that would go inside there. 
Okay. So you decorate it as you want. I have different pieces here. Like I have this large one already cut out. I could layer that right there and color that. You could also just emboss that in the gold. It would be gorgeous that way too. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any sayings already cut here? Let's see what I have. Nothing that really would match. Well, yeah, I do. I have a white piece. Let's do that. Let's do the white piece. I don't have a... I want to keep it kind of without colors on it. So let's use this one. We'll just put that one right there. Okay, so for this one, let's do... Let me grab the stamp set. Let's see what we'll stamp on there. Okay, so I love all these sayings. From the bottom of my heart, just wanted to say... Hi, my friend. Let's see. I'm just trying to think of which one I want to use here. Oh, let's do thanks. Let me grab this and clean it off. Since I already have it down here. So many choices. <laughs> okay, so we'll make this another thank you one. Again, this wasn't one I had prepped and ready to go. I just wanted to show you. So because I'm using Early Espresso, and that is one of the colors in the flowers, or the background paper, we're just going to... Not even going to use my mat. I'm not even going to grab that. Yes, I am because if I don't, you know what's going to happen. I'll mess it up. There's the thanks. Bring that back in again with dimensionals. I would really decorate this one a lot more. In a pinch, though, how am I doing? Like, I would layer it more with some of those other framelits. Okay, we're going to add some of these guys on here. Come on, get over here. Oop. Let's grab that right here. Put him right there. Grab one of those little guys. For some reason, my little glue dot didn't come off. So let's put that right there. There we go. And then on the inside saying, I'll leave that blank because I want to write my own message. But I am going to grab this little stamp, which I absolutely love. It's a little corner stamp. Take my early espresso. And go ahead and make little corners here for my little message. Good morning, Marlene. Whoop. See all these little pieces I have. And then that would just go inside there. I think I got the three thank you cards ready that my husband needed. So that's just another idea. One thing I do like to show, I haven't used it yet, I will, I promise, is on these dies, I just want to show it to you, there's a couple of dies that actually, here it is, are really cool. This one and this one, you can put that on the inside of your card. If you know what I'm talking about, it's like this take this piece let's take a card and if I put that on there it would just cut that out make a little make sense might not but when I use them the next time you'll see okay so that's what I had played with this week and these are the samples I came up with I know I'll be coming out with a lot more because this is an awesome set let me bring in the cards and show you one last time, and I will do still shots again. That'll be later on today. Go to stampersdelight.com, and you'll see all these samples. There's two here, not in any kind of order. Here's two. 
there's two more. Then we got these. You can tell I needed thank you cards this time around. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I better hurry up and take pictures of them before my husband swipes them. And then here's two more. Those were from the earlier ones. And then, of course, on my scrapbook page, I have this one, which I think I shared with, with you on this page, too. Don't forget to join my uh, scrapbook page. So I hope you enjoyed all those cards. And again, it's the Ornate Garden Suite, available April 1st. Thank you for tuning in. Who wants one of these cards? Leave me a message. Tell me where you're from. I can send cards anywhere in the United, uh, anywhere in the world. So, share my video. Just type in "shared" on the comments, and I'll pick. Let's see. I'll pick three winners to get one of my cards. One of you will at least get one of these, maybe two. It depends on which ones my husband picks out. Okay, so definitely share my videos, and I will send you one of these cards to use. I won't sign it in the inside, so you'll be able to use it or save it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.